In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an animated store. Um, you first need to launch After Effects and create a new project. Then make sure you save your project um, into a folder. And I'm just going to create a new folder. I can call it as week one. Always make sure you have your projects uh, in a folder rather than on your desktop animated store. And uh, we now need to create a new composition. I'll call it animated store. You can keep the settings at uh, 720 at 1280 by 720, the default setting here. And I'm going to make it uh, so the duration is like 10 seconds. And again, this is indicates the color of your background. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now there are two different ways that we can make this animated star. I'll be showing you both ways. First, you can click on the shape icon and choose the star tool. And once I drag it, you see that. Um, basically I have a star, I'll move it here, and this is my fill, this is my stroke, I can click on the fill and I can choose a different color if I wish. But now I'm going to open up the transform setting and I'm going to keyframe um, the anchor, position, scale, and rotation. My keyframes for these options and as you notice this is basically the center of my shape which means that if I try to rotate it it, will, it is not going to rotate properly uh, so what I would need to do I would need to move the anchor point to the center of my shape and the way that you could do that is to click on this pa uh, pan behind tool and then you simply drag the center of the anchor and move it to the middle of the star. So that is kind of important. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to move the time indicator to a different position in time. Click on my move option, move the star to a different point. And you can see that I could actually see the path of it. And now I can do a couple of other things. I could maybe change the scale, scale it down. I'm also going to click on the rotation tool on the first set of numbers. So just click maybe the two or maybe three rotations. And now, as you could see, as I Click on the space bar as you play your story, you'll see that it's rotating and it's also scaling down. So this is one way that you can actually change um, the position as well as the um, scale and add rotation to your story. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple of other things with this animated star, just to make it more interesting. So from the top option where it says Poly Star, I could click it open and I could have my fill, and I can click on the color, keyframe the color, go to a different position in time, click on my color option, maybe change the color and then go to the very end of my prompt and click on the color option and maybe change it again. Now, as you can see, I start with the red, then it changes to turquoise, and then it changes to gray. Okay, and then these arrows takes you to whatever the previous or the next um, keyframe is. 
I can also change the transform polyester property. So I'm going to click this open and let's see here. Actually, need the first option polyester paths. I'm going to click it open and I can click the points of my star. Click on the five. It's like five points. And I could go to the middle. Maybe add a few more points. And then go back to the very end. And maybe reduce the points. Or maybe change like another one of these attributes. So this is how you can actually um, animate your store. Maybe I'll just make this. So you can animate the star and you can change its points as well as the color and opacity.